Most of you know that I love pisco sours, and today I'm gonna to do a classic Peruvian pisco sour, something that you can do at home. And these are the ingredients that I'm gonna to use today. So I'm gonna use four ounces of pure pisco. In this case, it's gonna be beyond the pisco. One ounce of jarabe de goma, which is also known as a simple syrup. One ounce of lime or lemon juice. And I also have on this small yellow cup, I have an egg white. My wife just separated the uh, egg yolk from the, uh, from the white. I also have two ice cubes. The ice cubes are not mandatory, they're optional. It's up to you. And three drops of bitter. So let's go ahead and mix them all up. Okay, so this piece called Biondi was recommended to me by my niece's husband, Marco, Marco Wolcott. So thank you for recommending one of the best Piscos of Peru. Now this brand dates to 1972. It was created by Manuel Biondi and Moquegua, which is in Southern Peru. And this particular one is made with black grapes. And when I bought it in San Miguel in Lima, it only cost me $16. And I priced it up here in New Jersey. It's 40 bucks, if you can find it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Okay, there it is. All right guys, so you can also do this on a blender, but I'm gonna mix it all up here. So, I'm going to need the four ounces of pisco, so that's two, and four. One ounce of jarabe de goma, or simple syrup. Now this jarabe de goma I brought from Peru as well, a couple of years ago, but it can easily be found here in the States. Most liquor stores will have a simple syrup. Then I'm gonna use one ounce of lime juice. I'm gonna squeeze it right into it. And now I'm gonna add the uh, egg white, just one egg, one egg white. And now the ice cubes. Now the ice cubes are optional. You don't have to mix it in, but in my case, I'm gonna go and do it. And now I'm gonna mix it all up. All right, so I'm gonna shake it for about 10 seconds. I kinda like this. You hear that? You hear that again? Okay, I think I'm done. And now, I'm gonna pour it into this glass, which is a little big, but it'll be fine. All right, so I'm gonna pour my Pisco Sour into my glass. Maybe the glass was just perfect. Angostura. I brought this from Peru too as well a few years ago. This is the bitter, okay? The bitter you can find here in, in the States. Just, just add three drops and that's it. It's that easy. Okay, so here's the uh, 
to Peruvian Pisco Sours. Salud! Oh wow, this is good. My, I'm, this is the first time I tried Beyondi. This Pisco is really good. So thank you, Marco, uh, for the suggestion. Mm. I may have to make another one tonight. Wow, the Pisco itself, it's really smooth. I like it a lot. So, all right. So yeah, this turns out to be better than expected. And I'm going to share a little bit with the wife. Tomorrow I'll be doing my last video for the month. Uh, as I promised, I've been doing uh, one video each day during the month of May. I started in Peru um, and I'm going to end it here tomorrow. Um, obviously, I'll be doing more videos in the future, but I just wanted to vlog every day during the month of May. So tomorrow's going to be the last one for this series. Have a great morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, good night. Buenazo que está. Esto parece lo que tienes magia. Me hubiera traído como 15 botellas. Y las vendo todo acá.